Hey guys, we're going to be doing the ABCs of my taste in anime. I thought it would be fun for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me and my taste in anime, anime characters, anime video games, all types of things. We're gonna go through the whole alphabet of questions that I've come up with, throwing it back to old school YouTube and doing a little, a little tag video, an ABC tag. Maybe I'll tag some creators at the end of this, but I know that the days of tag videos are long gone, so <laughs> maybe it's just gonna be me riding solo on this one. But I came up with all of these questions, and there is a question that matches every letter of the alphabet, so we are just gonna start from the beginning with letter A. For all time favorite anime, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood always has been, always will be, probably. I don't think anything's ever gonna top it for me. I do not think it can be topped. It is perfection start to finish. There is nothing about the series that I would change, nothing. B, best characters, my favorite anime characters. So I have a long list of favorite characters, a long, 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 long list, but I'm basically gonna give you guys like my top characters of all time because I can't list like 100 characters right now, but one of my absolute favorites currently, as we all know, as you can tell from my profile picture, um, is Orochimaru. I love Orochimaru. I think Orochimaru is such an interesting character. Not only is he fine, but he he's also just a super interesting character to me. And I'm going to make a video about it. And I'm going to make a video about all my theories about Orochimaru eventually. But I need to like literally do research and write like a freaking essay about it <laughs> before I can come here and present you all with my evidence of why he's such a good and interesting character. Edward Elric, I think, is one of the most incredibly written characters of all time. I love Edward Elric. I just think he's such a great character and, I mean, the series is perfect, so obviously. And we've got another one from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood that I've always loved is Envy. I love Envy, an androgynous icon, and also just a villain that I find really interesting. You'll probably notice a trend that I kind of tend to like the villain characters because sometimes their backstories and their reasonings behind why they are the way they are make them really interesting and in-depth characters. And I think that Envy has a very interesting kind of, um, I don't know if I would call it character development um, throughout the series, but more of just like, we slowly kind of start to realize why Envy is the way that Envy is. And I just think he is such a well-written character and I love him. I also really love Seal Phantom Hive from Black Butler. I've always thought that Seal was a really well-written character. And I just want to make it clear, these are my favorite characters. These have nothing to do with simping, but I think he's a super interesting and well-written character. And I always thought that his character design was really cool. I used to always like doodle his eye and stuff when I was in class like on my notes just because I think he's just like a really well drawn character and a really well written character and I just always thought he was really interesting. Pretty random to be in a best character list but a filler character from Naruto that I am obsessed with is Gurren. Really loved that filler arc. I thought it was like one of the best fillers in the whole series because obviously a focus on the man's Orochimaru but Gurren is my girl. I think she is such a well written character and she should have been canon. And then a character that I'm more recently just totally obsessed with is Mammon from Obey Me, which is an anime series, but it's also an Atome game, an Atome mobile game that's super popular and you all need to play it. It's amazing. And then obviously from Attack on Titan right now, I'm obsessed with Levi, Aaron, and Jean. I think those are all very interesting characters. C, childhood anime series. A series that I watched and loved as a child. Pokemon was my very first anime. I think it was a lot of people's first anime, but I lived and breathed Pokemon when I was little. I wanted to grow up to be a Pokemon trainer. I'm very disappointed that I'm not one. And then aside from Pokemon, obviously I was also obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, the two kind of go hand in hand. I feel like you love them both. And I also really liked Hamtaro. Um, it was a little hamster show. I don't know if everybody knows that one. I mean, it's popular, but I haven't seen like a lot of Hamtaro stuff in a minute. But really liked Inuyasha, but I don't think I really ever like fully watched it or like knew what was going on. Like I would always just secretly watch it on Adult Swim when I was little because I thought it was like inappropriate because it was on Adult Swim. So I'd watch it at like three volume, probably just all out of order too. So I've been meaning to go and revisit Inuyasha. D, dubs, dubbed anime. I know it's a controversial topic for some reason, but I tend to watch most of my anime in sub, I do. Um, but there are a handful of anime that I just enjoy way more in dub. And my favorite dubs are Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, my favorite series of all time. I, I like the dub more than the Japanese version and 
honestly, I'm not that familiar with the Japanese voice actors. I've just heard them like here and there, but I think just because I initially watched it in English, the voices just fit the characters so perfectly for me and I can't hear them with any other voice. And just the voice actors for Edward Elric and Alphonse and like all of our main people just did such a good job. It's just, it's the perfect voices for the characters. Plus I think like a lot of the lines from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood really stuck with me like word for word and stuff because I watched it in English rather than reading the subtitles for it. Another series that I love, love, love the dub for is Naruto. I think the Naruto voice actors are incredible in the dub. Um, the Japanese voice actors are also amazing. I have watched a little bit in Japanese, like just clips and then I've watched some of Boruto in Japanese, but I just think Orochimaru's voice actor perfect in the dub perfect 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 i really love sasuke's dub voice i love shikamaru's dub voice naruto everybody's i think everybody did such a good job in naruto the yuri on ice dub is also very good i love yurio's voice he's so much funnier in the english one just something about his sass just carries through so well with the um accent that he has and then i also really love the death note um dub and other than that honestly i think most series i do prefer the sub but those ones i definitely think the dubs are great honestly you're on ice i'd probably say they're tied there's things i like about the dub and the sub but the others are definitely superior in dub for me personally e ending songs closing songs honestly i feel like there's probably some older ones that i also really liked but i'm just like honestly blind Blanking on them now, but if it didn't stick in my head, then I guess maybe they're not my faves. So these ones are all kind of from more recent series that I have watched, and I'm going to say probably my favorite is the Attack on Titan um, season four part two ending. Um, I love, love, love that ending. It is so pretty, and I listen to it all the time, and I think it fits the series very well, like the lyrics and everything fit the series very well. Um, and then Link Click has like one of the most like lit outros I've ever heard in my life. It's so good. And also the ending song for the case study of Vanitas um, season one is so good. I'm always jamming out and singing along to that. F, first anime crush. My first anime crush of all time was Ash Ketchum. Surprise, surprise, with my first anime being Pokemon. I loved my boy Ash back in the day. I had a framed photo of Ash and Pikachu in my closet. Um, I also had a pillow with Ash's face on it. And then from Yu-Gi-Oh, I had a crush on Kaiba. I think that's where the, the crushes on villains really began. <laughs> the crushes on men where the vibe is definitely like, I can fix him. <laughs> and then I also had a crush on Kaiba's little brother as a kid, Mokuba. I thought he was like, so cool. G is for games, anime related video games. So currently I am obsessed with Obey Me, which is a mobile Otome gacha game where you're basically living with demon brothers who represent the seven deadly sins. And there's angels, there's demons, there's sorcerers, and it is addicting this game is genius i'm eventually gonna make a separate video just about like everything involved with this game and this game's just like universe and franchise because i am obsessed like this game draws me in this is like aside from spending like an occasional dollar here and there on pokemon go this is like the first mobile game that i've spent money on it's bad and it's the reason why i am refraining from downloading genshin because i don't need to be spending money on two games <laughs> I'm also obsessed with Pokemon Arceus. It is so freaking fun. I think I've played it for like 43 hours or something so far and I'm still not even through the story and I gotta finish the Pokedex and everything, but it is such a good game. I love it. I think it's one of the most fun Pokemon games ever. I also really love Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. I played through the entirety, 100% completion, which I think is like the first time in my life I've like ever done that on a game of the first Ultimate Ninja Storm. And I have all of them. I have two and three and I also have four, but I haven't played through all of them yet. And you know that I'm always playing as Orochimaru. And then not necessarily anime related, but like kind of anime universe Otome games that I really, really enjoy on the Nintendo Switch are Pio Fiore and Color X Malice. Those are two really good ones. And I'm currently playing Cupid Parasite, which is another Otome visual novel game. And then like throwback games that I was obsessed with, I was obsessed with the Hamtaro video game and also the Ham Ham games. It was like the Hamtaro Olympics for the Game Boy Advance. I also really loved um, Pokemon Sapphire. It's my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I had a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I 
honestly forget what it was called, but I'll put a picture of what it looked like. That was also for the Game Boy Advance. H, hated characters, most hated characters. The ones that I hate the most, which is Show Tucker, Did My Girl Nina, Dirty. That scene traumatized me. I love Flim and Alchemist Brotherhood, but the first time that I watched it, I've watched it a couple times now. The first time that I watched it through, I literally had to stop after that episode. And I like stopped and took like a month and I was just like, I can't watch this. But then I went back and I'm glad I did because that scene, I don't know, that seemed so disturbing to me. Like even to this day, when I rewatch the series, I have to like turn the volume off at that scene or like look away. Like I, just, I hate hearing it. I, you know what it is and I hate hearing it. <laughs> Do Flamingo from One Piece. I hate Do Flamingo. I know a lot of people like him because he's like cool villain, whatever. He's bad, but he's so freaking bad that I just can't with him. And normally like I am here for the anime villains, but not him. He's too bad. <laughs> he's too mean. He did my boy Corazon dirty, did my boy Law dirty, and I hate him. Hate him. Way too evil for me. He's literally the worst. So frustrating. And I, I hate Dolph Mingo. I, iPhone background. Exposing my iPhone background. It is me and Orochimaru. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> This was drawn by Sleepy Sharingan, which I'll, that's their at. I got this commission and I'm obsessed with it and it makes me happy. And so it's my lock screen. Okay, J, Japan. I have been planning a Japan trip forever <laughs> and still can't go. Um, but I have a long list of places I wanna go in Japan. I literally have a whole PowerPoint that I created. But here's some of the things that I want to do when I go there. I really love amusement parks. So I really wanna to go to Tokyo Disney. Um, Tokyo Disney and Tokyo Disney Sea look absolutely amazing. Um, I really wanna to go to Universal Japan and see the um, Mario area. I also really want to go to Puro Land, which is the Hello Kitty theme park. Themed cafes. If you put a theme on a cafe, I'm there. If you make the food shaped, I don't care if it's like not even that good of food. If that food looks cute, I'm there. If you've got a gift shop where you sell plates with characters' faces on it, I'm there, I'm sold, I'm buying it all. <laughs> so I really wanna to go to themed cafes in Japan. There's so many I wanna to go to, but two of the ones I'm most excited about are the Kirby Cafe, which is freaking adorable, like look at this, and the Pokemon Cafe. I have also, ever since I was a kid, wanted to go to the Pokemon Center store so freaking bad. So I'm gonna go to like every Pokemon store in Japan. Like I just, I need to go. I'm gonna do so much shopping in Japan. It's not even funny. And I've always wanted to go to Don Quixote too. It's basically just a store that sells like literally everything in Japan. There's just so much stuff and it just looks like pure chaos. And then also the crane games. I am a sucker for crane games. I will drop like 60 bucks to win that stuffed animal if it's cute enough. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to go and see like the, literally just like three story high buildings that are just full of crane game machines. And then also like Harajuku, just everything in Harajuku, the shops, the, you know, Instagrammable food, like just everything in Harajuku I'm like super excited about. K, kins, characters that I kin. I have always been a little bit confused about the idea of kins, but I know it's like a big thing right now, but it's basically just characters that you relate to or have something in common with. Honestly, there aren't that many characters that I can think of, like off the top of my head that I'm just like, oh my God, like that's me. Like everything about them is me, but there are characters who have like aspects of me so i'll kind of say like what aspect of the character matches me because it's not like the entirety of these characters first of all edward elric i feel like his drive and his commitment and love to the people that he cares about um i really relate to shikamaru because i'm lazy <laughs> i'm lazy and i'm a procrastinator um so definitely relate to shikamaru in that sense definitely find myself in a what a drag type mood often yatara yaguchi from blue period because if you don't know that series it's about um a student who decides to like start pursuing art and it's kind of like shows just sort of like the complexities of like what goes on in the mind of creative individuals and just comparing yourself to others and um, just kind of trying to do things creatively, but for like, for him it's to get into college, but I can kind of relate it to like doing it for a career, um, as an adult. And with him it's art, with me it's like filmmaking, I went to school for film. And I can just really relate to kind of his 
inner thoughts, inner monologue about like the art he's creating and how he feels like he has to, you know, struggles to not compare himself to what others are doing and find his own individual style and things like that. And then Levi, because I am a germaphobe, <laughs> the past few years have turned me into a germaphobe and I am also a short icon, just like Levi. We are the exact same height. I am Levi sized. <laughs> so I relate to Levi in, in those ways. Omoe from Naruto because we're both anxious, both anxious icons. <laughs> I can relate too deeply to his anxiety, so <laughs> that's why I relate to him. And then this is a little unhinged. Orochimaru, hear me out. I don't relate to all of him, but I do relate to kind of some of his values in the sense of like, this is very complicated without me like fully explaining how I feel about him as a character, but I think that his evilness was born from the good intention of him just like not wanting to see anybody go through any more pain and just being really empathetic to those around him and um like wanting to find a way to make it so that people don't suffer anymore and obviously he went unhinged and took it to a point where he made people suffer but i relate to that like original concept of like not wanting to have to see people suffer and struggle. L, life-changing series. I made a video about this forever ago on my main channel, like just crying, <laughs> crying in my dorm room, the huge about like how these series just like moved me so deeply. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, obviously it's my favorite for a reason. Um, that series, as well as Black Butler, were two series that just really inspired me to switch majors and kind of switch gears in college. Um, I was originally studying science and I switched to film. I had always had an interest in film and YouTube and like movies, media, all that kind of stuff had always been very important in my life, but like I hadn't really thought about doing it as a career until just certain, certain pieces of media just really started to like move me and make me feel like I want to make something that can make people feel something like the way that those two series did for me. Like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Black Butler just really made me feel something and think about life. And like, I just feel like they both are series that just like say so much about the world and just things that are very relatable to people. They were just series that made me open my eyes and be like, I wanna make stuff like this. Like even if it's not anime, like just film in general, like I wanna make things that can impact people and make people feel something and make people learn something. And then also Naruto, I would definitely call it a life-changing series for me because for whatever reason, I put off watching it forever and then I finally started watching it in 2020 when I had a lot of time on my hands. And it was obviously life-changing in the sense that I started my TikTok account um basically making naruto content i mean i had made like a couple videos before that but naruto content is what really started blowing up and building a community on tiktok for me and built kind of this little community we have here now on youtube and i'm really thankful to the series for that and also just obviously those the last couple years have been not great for most people i think and they were not great for me and naruto um, was definitely a really good distraction for me and something to be excited about and kind of like geek out about um, that sort of just kind of like helped get me through, you know? Also, A Lull in the Sea is another series that I think really has like a life-changing message that can really like change your perspectives on things. So I think that's another really good one. M is for men. Obviously, anime men. We all know them, we all love them. I have many favorites. <laughs> as we all know. I guess like just who I simp for, basically this is this is the simp category. Well, Orochimaru, obviously, is like number one. Orochimaru's number one in the heart right now. Um, Deidara, for sure. Um, these are all like gonna sound unhinged. Envy, <laughs> love Envy. I mean, Jean, Levi, and Aaron, obviously. Um, Reiner a bit. Like literally like every Naruto character. I mean, come on, like Kakashi, Itachi, Sasuke, everybody, uh, just everybody. <laughs> Obito is another good one. Like literally everybody from Obey Me, <laughs> but I guess more specifically, mostly Mammon 
and Lucifer. Oh, One Piece. I can't forget One Piece men. Zoro, Captain Kidd, um, Corazon, Law, Sanji lately. I'm in the whole cake arc. He's, you know, he's doing something for me. <laughs> wow, there's so many. There's so many I sent for. I can't even think of them all. Kiba, I know that's unhinged. Hear me out. Actually, don't hear me out. Kiba's unhinged. <laughs> We've got all the villains, but somehow Kiba is the most unhinged. <laughs> okay, also sent for Vanitas. Hello, beautiful Lloyd Forger is a good one right now. And next up on my watch list, what I'm planning on watching next. Right now on my watch list, I have Tokyo Ghoul, which I've been meaning to watch forever. Um, Bungo Stray Dogs, just because I'm so interested in Dazai as a character, I just need to watch and see what he's all about. I'm thinking of maybe starting Demon Slayer. I've been seeing enough Tengen content that I'm like, all right, Maybe it's time. <laughs> Maybe it's time to finally watch it. And Free, the swimming anime, that's also been on my list for a while. Oh, opening soundtracks. My favorite opening song is, and probably once again, always will be, Again by Yui, which was the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood opening. Like, just such an iconic opening. I, to this day, still love that song. It's on my playlist. The perfect song for the opening and the perfect visuals. My current, like, more recent favorite intro, I would say is Rumbling from Attack on Titan. P is for Pokemon. My number one favorite Pokemon is actually Blaziken because I had a level 100 Blaziken on my Pokemon game when I was younger that I worked so hard to train. We were connected. Like I had a connection. I still have a connection to this Blaziken. We have an attachment like this. And <laughs> I just have loved Blaziken ever since. I don't know, like every other Pokemon I like has like a totally different vibe than Blaziken, but I love Blaziken. I'm always a fire starter girly. And then some of my other favorites, um, these ones kind of are all very similar in the sense that they're like cute Pokemon. Um, Mew, I love Mew. Togepi, I've always loved Togepi. Um, Pichu is so cute. And then I really like Umbreon and Espeon. Those are my favorite evolutions. Lately, for some reason, I really like Mime Jr., which feels so weird to call him Mime Jr. because I saw a TikTok of somebody calling him Mimi Jr. <laughs> And now I only call him Mimi Jr. So Mime Jr. honestly sounds wrong, but Mimi Jr. Love him. <laughs> he's on my team in Arceus, like through just the final of it. He's just still a Mime Jr., not evolved. I always say this one wrong because, okay, so as a kid, I called this Pokemon um, Chimcho. <laughs> So I still call it Chimcho because to me that's what it is because that's what I thought it was called as a kid for some reason. But I think it's Chimecho is what it's supposed to be, but I really love that Pokemon. Q, Q is for quit watching. Series that I quit watching, which there's not very many that I've given up on. The only one I can really think of off the top of my head that I like intentionally quit and have like no intention of revisiting is Be The Beginning. For whatever reason, I just didn't get it. Our recent anime that I have finished. So these aren't ones that I'm currently watching, but it's ones that I recently just fully completed. Um, Blue Period, uh, which is amazing. You need to watch it. It's an art anime. Platinum End, which was awful. I made a video about it. <laughs> so if you want to see me complain about Platinum End with Erin Yeager makeup on, you can check that out. I'll link that at the end of this video or in the description or something. Sasaki and Miano, which is so good. You need to watch it. It's such a cute romance anime and they're just the cutest couple and I love it. It's so wholesome. X is for ships, my favorite ships. Honestly, I don't have that many ships that I feel like super strongly about, but there are a few. So for Attack on Titan, Levi and Hanji or Levi and Erwin, both those ships I think are good. And then my favorite Naruto couple, I guess this one isn't really a ship because it's real. I don't know, is it a ship if it's real? Tamari and Shikamaru, I really love them as a couple. And I also kind of used to love the idea of like Ino and Shikamaru as a couple too, but I do think that like Tamari and Shikamaru I like more. Recently finished Sasaki and Miyano. Um, and I love Sasaki and Miyano as a couple. I think that they are freaking adorable. And then for One Piece, I ship Zoro and Perona. I want to see Zoro and Perona together so freaking bad. I also love Sanji and Nami. And more unpopularly, I also have some strong feelings about Nami and Luffy. I could also, I could see it go either way. But I definitely want Sanji to end up with 
I feel like most likely Nami, but maybe Robin. I don't know. I want him to end up with somebody in the crew so bad. I don't know why. I just do. And then also in blue period, I kind of ship um, Yatara Yaguchi and his friend Ryuji. Oh, also Reiki and Longa. How did I forget that one? Reiki and Longa. I definitely ship those two so hard. I want them to be together. Oh, and for Boruto, I really want Moegi to be with Konohamaru and it, I don't think that that's like what happens, but I wish it was. And then Orochimaru and myself. <laughs> TikTok, anime TikTok. I'm on anime TikTok here. You can find me here. I'm gonna expose my likes when I film this video. I'm gonna screenshot what my recent likes are and show you guys. So uh, if we just take a look at them here, you can see just like some cosplayers that I really like. We've got Gail, all the pots and pans doing um, a Tails cosplay. We have Evan, who you guys might know as doing Reiner and Nanami cosplays, but I'm pretty sure that this one was a Human Torch cosplay that I had recently liked. Um, this Plankton picture is unhinged. That's Plankton seeing a amazing fan art of Levi. And I mean, listen, <laughs> I literally screamed when I saw the image of Plankton, so I had to like it. Um, <laughs> and then there is also an Itachi art, and that's actually by the same artist that did my iPhone background. This is a like Attack on Titan cosplayer that I really like. They, I mean, I'm trying to think. They do other cosplays, but they do a lot of like um, Attack on Titan ones like Levi, Hanji. Um, I think they've done Eren, if I'm not mistaken. And then they've also done like Jean, just a bunch of Attack on Titan characters. So they are incredible. All of their stuff looks so cinematic and I love their account. And then in the bottom we have um, one of my mutuals, pepperoni pizza rolls. You, underrated anime. Anime that I think are just way too underrated. Honestly, I feel like I have mostly watched fairly popular stuff, um, but there are some that I think deserve a lot more popularity. So those are Blue Period. Incredible, I've already plugged that a few times in this video, but Blue Period is beautifully done, incredible. Sasaki and Miano is a very adorable romance. Given is another very good romance with amazing music. Like it had one of the best like music budgets of a music anime that I've ever seen. Like just, there's a band in the series if you haven't seen it and the music for the band is so good. The songs are just amazing. And then Black Butler, I know is not like really underrated, because it is super popular, but it's like not as popular nowadays, which I mean, it's not new. So like, that's why I'm sure. But I do think that there's a lot of like newer anime fans that like don't really know about it. And I think that they should. A Lull in the Sea, which I watched on Netflix. I don't know if it's a Netflix original. I, I don't think it is actually. It's very, very good. Um, very moving. I cried like a baby. Um, <laughs> and it's a beautiful animation. Just absolutely beautiful. Also, Nanbaka is like a comedy series that takes place in jail. Um, it's not like the best series of all time. Like, you know, like I didn't give it like a 10 out of 10 rating or anything, but I definitely think it's a fun series that not a lot of people have heard of. And then the case study of Vanitas, um, which just had the second season come out. And I think that that one is not talked about nearly as much as I thought it would have been. The voice actors. We've got to talk about voice actors for talking about anime. And some of my favorite voice actors are for dubbed anime, Tom Gibbis. You've seen him on my TikTok and my YouTube channel. I tell this poor man about <laughs> my terrible taste in anime men in Naruto villains, and he responds as Shikamaru. Um, and he's great. He's so funny and so nice and just really interactive with fans and stuff. Um, and I highly recommend getting a cameo from him. Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren. Oh no, he's so disappointed. Oh man, what a drag. Um, also Yuri Lowenthal, who is the voice of Sasuke in Naruto. I think he is such an incredible voice actor. I just, I love his voice. It's such an iconic voice. And he also does Spider-Man, Ben 10, all types of cool characters. I understand being attracted to Orochimaru. Thank you. Because I am too. And you I was it. there first. <laughs> Another Naruto one, obviously, Steve Bloom. We stand him. He gave Orochimaru the perfect voice, gave the perfect voice to my favorite character. And so love him for that. And I've missed you. <laughs> Japanese voice actors. I have a couple of favorites. Levi and Law's voice actor. And then Nobunaga Shimizuki. 
um, who does the voice for Mahito and um, Yuki from Fruits Basket. <laughs> Very dynamic voice there. W, the weirdest anime that I have ever seen is probably Psychic Princess. It has an absolutely unhinged theme song and the series is just really weird really weird and all over the place. I was so confused at the beginning and I was like, literally, what am I watching? But then I loved it and now I hope there's a season two. So Psychic Princess is definitely probably one of the strangest that I've seen, but in a good way, in a really good way. All right, now we are in X and you're gonna have to hear me out for this one. Bear with me here. There's not a lot of words that start with X. So X marks the spot for One Piece treasure so my favorite one piece characters great transition um <laughs> my favorite one piece characters so in the straw hat crew um i would say my favorites are zoro and luffy and nami and robin and i'm also really liking Santi lately um just everybody i pretty much like everybody <laughs> and then i really really love captain kid I normally say Captain Kid's my favorite character, but I haven't like seen as much of Captain Kid as like all the other characters, obviously, because he's not like there all the time as like Zoro and Sanji and everybody. Um, but I love Captain Kid. Um, Law, I really like. Um, Caesar, the clown, I like him. I like Buggy the clown. Love all the clowns, apparently. It takes one to love one, I guess. <laughs> Got a thing for mad scientists, I guess, uh, with <laughs> Caesar and Orochimaru. And then Corazon, I love Corazon's character. Um, I really like Perona. Uh, she's one of my favorite um, women in One Piece. I also like Pell for some reason. I've just always liked him. Princess Shigarashi and Queen Otohime. Oh my gosh, am I saying Shigarashi wrong? It's Princess Shigarashi, I hope. Shigarashi? Shigaraki? Princess Shigarashi. What? Shirahoshi. I really like Shirahoshi and Otohime um, from the Fishman Island arc. But there's just, there's so many One Piece characters that are really like Ace, obviously. Sabo. Bartholomew, obviously. Smoker. I like Smoker. I feel like I'm literally forgetting so many good One Piece characters, but there's just too many. Oh, freaking Kumasi. I love Kumasi for some reason. I don't know why, but I love Kumasi. Why? My favorite YouTubers that make like anime or Japan related content. My favorite right now is probably Sea Dog VA, Connor. I love Connor's videos. Like literally just makes my day. The production value is so good. He's making such freaking good content. If you don't know who he is, go find out. You gotta go find out. But I just really love Connor's content. It's just very well done. And he's a voice actor. I would say that his content, I would still consider him an anime creator, but I would say a lot of his content lately is maybe a bit more like Japan related content. I think that's fair to say. And then I also love the anime man. Um, I met him years ago at a convention, many years ago now. Hey, guess what I'm here with? Oh, I'm the anime it's man. Jeremy. What's up? And then we just, I guess we just pause for a picture of this. <laughs> Thank you, it was nice to meet you. And he actually used to watch some of my old videos on my main channel, and that's super embarrassing now. Um, I wish I could get him to watch them with me <laughs> again, because then I could just cringe along with him. <laughs> I also really love, um, for more just like Japan type content, I really love Chris Abroad's channel and Sharla. Um, Charmeleon is her channel. She also makes really good um, content about Japan and her life in Japan. Z. There's also not very many good Z words. So we're going with zombie apocalypse. If there was a zombie apocalypse, what anime character am I rolling with? Who am I expecting to keep me safe? And you know whose team I'm on? Not gonna be much of a shocker. Orochimaru. You wanna know why? He's probably leading the zombie apocalypse. He probably reanimated all of them. So I'm on his side. <laughs> I'm definitely on his side and you know what worst case scenario I just have him teach me how to do that like regurgitate jutsu where you just like rebirth yourself and I'll be good in the zombie apocalypse so I'm definitely on his team 
And like literally nobody has to do this video next. You guys can just comment down below your answers if you want to, throwing it back to the old YouTube tags. I guess I'll tag people. They definitely don't have to do it. These aren't like a thing anymore, but we'll, we'll challenge Joey, the anime man to it, maybe on his second channel, maybe Billy Han. He's also a TikToker with a YouTube channel. Just anybody that wants to do it can try. Sea Dog VA, anybody. <laughs> I don't know, anybody who wants to go through this, can feel free. Uh, yeah, so those were my anime ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lame. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to comment your answers down below and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. I'd really, really appreciate it. Bye.